how to interpret TEM micrographs in your research article or in your thesis. TEM stands for transmission electron microscope. In scanning electron microscope, electrons scanning the surface. So the scanning electron microscope is only and only for surface morphology. But here electron transmit means it pass from the material. So the material should be very very thin. I mentioned here that simple, simple preparation requires meticulous job, a very careful job, a very small and superior thin sample are recommended because we want the electron to pass from that material. Basically transmission electron microscope, these are the images here, the sole purpose of TEM are the following. We are characterizing this material and that is the nanostructure material. This is particularly at a nanoscale. So TEM is basically a nano size characterization tool. What we find uh, about the material? We are about find the material shape and particle size. For example, the crystallized size, its latent information, the morphology also. Because how morphology? Look here, it looks like nano rods. And the second, it is looking like uh, the particles. So at low magnification, TEM is work just like <laughs> a scanning electron microscope. Okay, the grain size, the particle size, the dislocation mean the defects, the indices, and diffraction pattern. If we change the mood of transmission electron microscope into high resolution transmission electron microscope into diffraction mode so it will give us uh, the uh, diffraction pattern and from there we can calculate and we can know that our material is uh, polycrystalline or single crystalline or amorphous it also give us uh, the grain boundary information so let me give you a short overview that this is the nano right here the 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 the, the small magnification here I mean a 200 nanometer so it is just like a scanning electron microscope yes the 200 nanometer and this is the particle micrographs you see here and when you zoom it so you will see the grains here you see this is a, a grain here this is another grain here you see and these are the boundaries here so it gives us the uh, information of the uh, grains are the crystallite and these are planes you see here planes where you can see the atoms here and this is another beautiful image you see here so it gives us information about the grains this is one grain this is another grain this is another grain so it can be seen that uh, you know, these materials are polycrystalline because uh, one one in this image here you see the planes are lying here and here the planes are lying here and here the planes are lying here so this means that it is a polycrystalline material and a polycrystalline material, material give diffraction uh, uh, in a concentric circular form. This is the, 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 uh, the, the, the clear difference between a single crystal and a polycrystal. Single crystal will give one, one spot here, one spot here, one spot there. But polycrystal means it will give us a, 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 a concentric circles because uh, in polycrystalline the single crystal are oriented in one direction and another single crystal oriented in other directions so from there we get concentric circle that is evolved sphere and solid state mechanics but if, if we have a single crystal mean the planes or the atoms are arranged in a same order so it gives us reflection or diffraction in particular one point but if you have polycrystal so in one give this direction another give that direction so that make a circle and it looks like this now let's see a few micrographs of the transmission electron microscope uh, this is you see the nanofibers at 200 nanometers so when you zoom it here so you will see the differences here so we can see that the porosity of the uh, structure because it looks like that uh, light can pass you see the white white areas it means that um, the, this structure is uh, porous you see when we zoom here you see here the grains the crystal are uh, clear in here you see clear here now this is you see when you further zoom you will see planes here in do you see grains 
the grains are clear now one grain here another grain and this is also called crystallite you see when you zoom this so you will see <coughs> you will see that they are oriented in a very different direction you see here different directions here here it's more clear you see here so these are like this this plane and these planes are like this and these are like this so it's clearly showing that it is a polycrystalline material and you can also see from uh, this graph so transmission electron microscope is a very important tool here and these are the planes 110 plane and 101 plane in the next video i will explain how you can index these circles and this is just the reflection of xrd the xrd give us uh, the pus peak is always more in, uh, intensity the second is intensity is decreasing here you see this is similar to xrd this is the reflection of xrd so that is also the crystal structure and it also shows the crystal structure XRD also showing the crystal structure and transmission electron microscope also showing the crystal structure. The material is polycrystalline or single crystalline. Now let's see in how we can write about a transmission electron microscope. So this is you see the crystal structure and the differences in microstructure between the material was further studied by TM. You see, it is mean the crystal structure we are not only using XRD, we are also using TM. Simple, we choose this blah 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 here you see here you can see here that tm images of this concentration and this concentration respectively a highly porous and hollow structure is visible you see a highly porous and hollow structure is visible in both cases this concentration one were form with the grain you can find the grain size you see using mj tool i will also make video on this how to find this uh, grain size the grain size are the crystallite sizes 10 to 15 nanometer which are smaller than the grain farming in concentration too that was little bigger you see here yeah so then we link that the smaller grains and many pores in c1 could lead to large surface area you see if we have a smaller smaller grain and more pores so it increased the surface area and we also say that the high re transmission re resolution electron microscope this is basically i did mistake this is hr tm high resolution transmission electron microscope images uh, when we can see grains that is called hrtm so that is a uh, very low magnification here so you can see that the lattice uh, distance was this in this you see the d spacing between two planes we can also find from here you see here assure high crystallinity of these nanostructures structure respectively you see here this is we all talk about here and Finally, we also link the uh, selected area electron diffraction figure and it shows the concentric circle which is the polycrystallinity in nature. You see, it is polycrystalline in nature. I explain here, you, you see, these are the microstructure <coughs> of TM, you see here. So, this is at 5 nanometer here, this is 5 nanometer, and this is the uh, electrons diffraction uh, pattern of both the concentration. You see, both are polycrystalline in nature. So I hope uh, it is clear and I will make further videos uh, to make it clear but I just want to know that how we can uh, 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 we can basically uh, uh, write about transmission electron microscope in your research article or in your thesis. Thanks for watching.